Hello, welcome. I'm Wendy Irene from GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com and this is my daughter Felicity. Hello. So this message is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs and Felicity actually has an Aquarius Moon sign. Um, I want you to go into these messages really just with the intention of clarity because it's not about me telling you what's going to happen or what's happening. It's about you listening to your own voice within. It's just that I find that having the cards or someone speaking messages helps you to hear those messages louder sometimes. So especially pay attention to anything that's a repeat, something that you've already been feeling or you hear a message here and it gets repeated. That's the universe's way of saying for me, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Um, because really you are your own best guide and you know best for within yourself. It's just that my whole, um, what I feel really called to do is to help you tap into your intuition because I feel like there's so many people in the world that are disconnected from their intuition right now and that's where I wanna bring you back to. Okay, so let's get started. So, um, I actually want to start with this card that's the card of compassion because it says release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone so even to be able to hear this these messages there's this need for you to release any judgments going on whether it's you're judging yourself harshly about something or you're judging others about something I want you to remember that Right now, your intention is to focus on love so that you can clearly take in the messages that you need or clearly hear them. So having compassion. Okay, so the first card that comes up is the Hierophant, which is a beautiful card. This is Osiris um, from Egypt in the picture. And this is saying to me that you're, you're aspiring to be a leader. And if you don't feel like that's right for you, then the other thing is it could be someone close to you, very close to you is a leader. And that's the message. But it's also, I'm feeling like getting this message, especially with the judgments thing here, like you might be in a group that's judgmental and that's expecting you to have certain beliefs. So it's just a matter of being aware and you'll know if that's true for you, okay? Because if you want to step into this leadership role, it is essential that you are able to go within yourself um, and not, you know, just look to the group. Okay, so then you have the Empress, and this is a very nurturing energy. It can be like nurturing an artistic project, it could be nurturing another person, it could be nurturing children. Sometimes this means whatever situation there is, there's children involved. But it's this very nurturing energy. And it could also be like if you're stepping into being a leader, for some of you it could be that it has to do with this nurturing, like you're going to be doing something that's very nurturing for others. Or maybe it has to do with nurturing children. The next card is the Three of Cups. and. Um, So for me, this is kind of saying like, you have been having murky feelings, but they're becoming more clear now. Like you're, these murky feelings you have are becoming clear to you. Like you're, you're seeing, maybe understanding your patterns or, you know, you're understanding things in a way that's going to promote positive growth. So maybe you're looking within to see your patterns and it's going to help you have positive growth, your emotional patterns. Okay, so the next is the Eight of Cups and this is really saying you're wishing something would have been different. That you're really wishing something would have been different but um, you, it is what it is and so now you just are letting go. Um, you're letting go because you can't make something different. Um, so you're so you're this energy of letting go of whatever it is that you wish could have been different 
Okay, then you have the King of Cups. And for me, like, this is a father figure that's trying to reach out to you. So some of you have some kind of father figure trying to reach out to you. It doesn't have to be, like, your actual dad, or it could be. Um, or it could be that you are a father figure yourself. And it's um, just pointing that out. But, like, for some of you, you have a father figure that's trying to reach out to you, I feel like. It doesn't, and it could be like someone who's passed. It could be someone who is, has been like a father to you in your life. Um, or it could be that, you know, your, your role of being a father figure is, has, is having a big impact on you. And then you have the king of pentacles, which means you have someone in your life that's very stable that's really good with money or someone that's coming into your life that's very stable and good with money. It could be you. If you know for yourself that like you are very stable and you're good with money and you're kind of wise in that way, um, it could be just like affirming that to you or it could be like pointing out that you have someone in your life that way or someone coming in like that. Okay, so then you have the Knight of Swords and for me, like, I feel like this horse is, like, kind of having anxiety and freaking out because there's these differences in opinion around you, um, which is causing you trouble. And what's really happening is your authentic self is trying to come out. Your authentic self is trying to reach you. Okay, so the Fool card. So you've gone through some pain and this is like you resting to think, to think things through, um, to plan your next moves and with the full card, it's like you're going to plan your next moves more wisely. And the four of swords is like this, this message that you need to retreat from other people. Um, you need to get your inner self in order. So you really need a retreat from other people. Like you can see like this, this person is not, is, is really needing to like get away from all those swords and like get away from people and retreat and like do that inner house work. And then the last card we have is the scribe or writer. And this is from the past life deck. So some of you are a scribe like we're a scribe or a writer in a past life and you've kept that skill with you and so like it's like a natural part of what you're supposed to do here um but this um it like the message is clearly writing every day writing every day is going to help you it's going to help you sort through things it's going to give you that time away from people um writing every day is going to help you so and for some of you like if you want to be a published writer it's saying you can have success in that you just need to put the work in but you can have success in it it's like this is a part of your purpose for some of you so it's a collective message so not everything's going to fit everyone so just take the parts that really um, make sense for you okay Aquarius and that is the message this week so I want you to know that your time is so precious and it means so much to me that you spend it here with me and I really appreciate the likes, the shares, the subscribing, the comments. They all mean a lot and they help circulate the videos which I really appreciate especially because I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel to a thousand viewers and it isn't because the number of people like I find that the number is a vanity number and the reason that I'm trying to do that is because that way I can be supported by YouTube for having the channel um, through ads, to be honest. And I'm not a big fan of ads, but unless they're really funny or really creative, but I do appreciate that they help support artists to do their work or creative types to do their work. So anyway, I just want to say thank you. And um, I hope you have a really beautiful week and that you connect with your intuition. And I'm really looking forward to getting you another message soon, Aquarius. Bye.